Hi everybody, this is Cyrus for iPhoneS.com. Today I'm reviewing Calangoo. Calangoo is an application that lets you sync your tasks and events with Google Calendar. A lot of us use Google Calendar to keep track of our tasks and events. It's a free service, so why not use it? And with this app, you can sync your calendar tasks across your iPod, i iPhone, and iPad. So uh, it's a universal application. Now the reason this application has been we've been g given a lot of coverage in our site and it's been in close to the top or at the very top when listing calendar apps. The main reason is it has a really user friendly interface and it's it's quite fast actually. And unlike some of the other calendar apps that we've seen, it does not the sync feature works. So that's a big plus. Now you saw before the screen came up, you saw a little a small little thingy that was the syncing process that happens every time I restart the app now it's showing my events for this week whoops I closed it and see it happened again now let's say I want to add a new event I can just name it test 2 21st let's just choose that now you have to be careful what calendar you add your events the location reminders recurrence you want to be careful with all that I'm just gonna go with something really simple I'm gonna go with my main calendar it's gonna be an all all day event and it shows up here on December 19th which was the date that I wanted to add now I have this cool views of day, week, month, agenda shows what I have to do. So it sort of feels like a this feels like a task list, the things that I have to do. And it also shows this is my whole calendar and some of the other sites that we use and I, I keep track of our publishing schedule because of the role that I play in our blog network, the publishing schedule that I have we have to do, we keep track and posts that we have to do each and every week. I keep track of them with, with Google Calendar and also Calendoo. Uh, as far as settings, you can change display settings, synchronization, you can add, add account, you can sync, which I did right now. You can add a new account if you want. Add a reminder, you can reset settings, change time zone information, task. You want to sync tasks, you can do that obviously. And change the color so it, this application has a lot going for it as far as customization is uh, goes and you also have the option to use it in different orientation so you can use it in portrait or landscape want to print you can print your app your information you can preview so that's what my print is gonna look like let me go a daily one, see how that works. So that actually pretty neat. So you can, for instance, if you have a task list for a, a meeting on, let's say, December 22nd, with a bunch of tasks and or agenda items that you want to address in your meeting, you can add them and then print and take it to your meeting. Obviously, you don't want to show, show up at a meeting without an agenda so that's that's one way to use it you can obviously be a lot more creative here as far as searching pretty simple wanna move it around drag and drop when I start the sync right there at the top, I can move this right here. Adding an event, I already displayed that, but there's a history section that keeps track of the items that you need to be doing or you have, you've you been playing around with. Now, in order to use this application, obviously you can use it with Google Tasks and Google Calendar, but the, even though these are free services, you are going to have to 
get a free account from Google. It's free and uh, it's pretty simple to sign up. And that's about it. These are this is the task list that I just wanted to show you guys. I don't really have any tasks, but I, I can add new ones. Actually, I do have tasks, but I haven't updated for a while now. I only use Google Calendar to keep track of my publishing schedule, so uh, it's very simple for me. So that's about it, I think. I To summarize, Google Calendar is a Google Calendar client or a calendar that syncs with Google Calendar and also Google Tasks. So whether you have tasks that you want to keep track of, your task list, or your business calendars, you have accounts that you want to keep synced up on your iPad or iPhone, Calendar has you offer has you covered. Now the last time it was updated was this version that this particular version that we're testing right now is version one. 0.5.19 it's on October 20th so it was it was just recently it was a couple of months ago it's not that bad for a calendar that and these apps are have been around for a while now and making major changes takes time so it's pretty recent and uh, it works fine it doesn't crash on the iPad and it only takes about six megabytes so that's that's pretty neat. I hope you enjoyed this review. For more calendar information and for more reviews, please go to our YouTube channel, App Finders, and also to iPhoneS.com. We have a list of calendars that we have there so that you can see other calendars that are similar to Calendar that maybe that may work better for you. So you can you can test them out and see the list there. Thanks again for watching, guys.